but I'll wait till he prompts me and then we'll go ahead and get started. Good to go. Okay. Uh, I'm Jonathan Ware. I am the public information officer for the Van Buren Police Department. Um, just want to give you an update on the case that we are working for early Sunday morning. Um, I'll give um, some of the details that I'm able to give and then at the end if you have some questions feel free to ask. If I can answer it, I'll answer it for you. If not, uh, we'll send you an update with some of those answers at a later time. Uh, on Sunday morning at 12.41 a.m., we received a 911 call into our dispatch center uh, from a neighbor uh, who lived directly on the other side of a duplex from our victims in this case. Um, <clears throat> the, the neighbor stated that um, he had heard arguing and then gunshots and that he believed some gunshots had gone through the wall of his duplex. Um, we were able to determine that was uh, the case. Some gunshots had gone through uh, at least two rounds through the wall of his duplex, um, uh, passing nearby where they were sleeping. Um, so we were able to make entry to the apartment next door. Um, once officers made entry, they found three victims. Um, all suffering from gunshot wounds. Uh, they found one female who, um, as you guys have seen, has been determined to be uh, with child. Um, she was deceased on the scene. Uh, they had one toddler who was two years old and he was also deceased on the scene. Uh, we had the third victim was a male um, who had a gunshot wound, but he was alive at the time that our investigators made entry. He was transported to um, Baptist Hospital in Van Buren, uh, later life flighted to Northwest Arkansas where he passed away. Um, <clears throat> the names of our victims, uh, the female vic victim is Payden Nicole Priest, and she was 23 years old. Grayson Alexander Beckham, who was two years old. And then David Wayne Priest, who is 24 years old. Um, all of those died as a result of gunshot wounds, um, according to our investigation. However, uh, we are still awaiting autopsy results to confirm everything. Um, the bodies have been sent to Little Rock, to the Arkansas State Crime Lab. Um, generally, we don't get the results of an autopsy for, for several days, um, but we may have a preliminary to release some information to you in the coming days. Um, we'll release whatever we can at that point. Um, so uh, the scene had uh, been secured for a search warrant. Our investigators um, uh, did a thorough job of uh, collecting evidence to try to determine kind of what has gone on in this incident. Right now it is being investigated as a murder-suicide. Um, so that's, that's what we have right now. Um, you know, we our hearts go out to the, the families and friends of these victims. It's definitely a hard thing for, for them to deal with. This is uh, one of the worst cases that we've had to, to ever deal with. So um, at this time, I'm sure that you have some questions, so I'll open it up for any questions that you might have. Would you mind spelling those? Sure, I can do that. Uh, Payden is P-A-D-E-N. Um, and then Nicole and Priest are, are common spelling. Uh, and then Grayson is G-R-A-Y-S-O-N. Alexander and then uh, Beckham is B-E-C-K-H-A-M. And then David Wayne Priest is common spelling there um, on all three of those. How old did you say David was? Uh, David was 24 years old. Uh, Payton is um, 23. Um, in our report, we have, it is PAI, okay, PAI. Well, can you tell us, there's so many questions out there, what can you tell us about what led up to this and what may have happened? So it, it's really hard to, to, to say for sure on that because, um, you know, we, you know, all the parties involved are, are deceased. So it's kind of hard to say exactly. We do know that some arguing was, was heard. Uh, by the neighbor um, prior to the to the gunshots being heard. So uh, we do know there was some type of argument. 
Uh, it is being investigated at this time as to, you know, what are some motives or what are some things that could have led up to this happening. But, um, you know, at this time we can't, you know, we don't have anything def definitive to release there. Uh, not that I'm aware of. I did not see any reports, but I couldn't I couldn't confirm that for sure uh, at this time. Um, not that I recall. Um, I would have to look at at our reports to to determine. Um, I know you know that um, I've never I've never had any dealings with them or seen their names in reports before. But it's you know it possibly could have been mentioned in a report before. So I can confirm that for you. Do you believe that 24 year old pay of increased was uh, what this hearing is? is um, at, at this time, that's what our evidence is suggesting. And what can you tell us about the uh, weapon that was released? Um, at this time, I can't release any details on the weapon or, um, or anything uh, of that nature. We are still, I will mention, we are still in the investigative uh, process there. There are things that, that we need to still investigate, so. It, it's been recovered? Uh, yes, yes, the weapon has been recovered. Um, and as I mentioned before um, in um, some of my communications with you guys, we don't believe there to be any danger to the public. Obviously, we're not you know, searching for anybody uh, else. Um, you know, so we, um, we believe this, the public is safe at this time. Fortunately, no one else was uh, injured. Um, they're, uh, like I said, both rounds, uh, one of them penetrated the wall and the other one went into the wall. And um, so we're very fortunate that there were no other uh, casualties in, in this. This incident was already bad enough. I can say it was a handgun. Um, That's correct. And from what was reported, it was the person living in the adjacent apartment in that same duplex? That's correct. Same duplex. Uh, they were in the unit just across the wall uh, from where this incident took place. Well, can you tell us about Caitlin? She said she was pregnant. Do you have any additional information? Um, I don't have any additional information on that. Um, you know, we. Um, you know, we've looked at social media and different things there, but um, I don't have any additional information as far as that goes. And having said that, because everyone was out here yesterday, friends and neighbors, but this couple just celebrated a baby shower like a week ago. Yes. To stop the community. Everyone's trying to make sense of it, and as of now, there's really no sense to be made of sense. It's very hard to make any sense of an incident like this. We've dealt with... Uh, similar incidents um, I, from my time here at the PD I'm, I'm this is one of the worst ones that I've ever seen um, takes a toll on investigators and uh, obviously like I said before we feel for the family it, you you just can't explain something like this to a family um, I, I believe so believe so. And the couple was married, correct? Uh, that is correct. Any other questions before we close out? I anticipate that you will receive some kind of further communication from me. I don't know when that'll be. Um, so uh, definitely be patient with us. Most of the pertinent information that we can release, well, all of the pertinent information that we can release, we've released today. Um, and um, I mentioned that we have, we have some uh, images to, to give you that were provided by the family, uh, and so we'll provide those after this meeting. Um, 
It, you know, it, it's being investigated, but we, um, I'd, I'd rather not comment on that. I think it's, it's something that is, um, I think it's easy to kind of understand what went on, but um, part of the investigative process has to be done before we can really give a, a final call on that. But we do believe that, that this was done by David Priest. So, um, that, like I said, there's some, some things that need to happen um, that we're waiting on. Um, I mean, I, I was not there. Um, I'd be really hesitant to, uh, to imagine that, that scene. I know it was horrific. Uh, I was an investigator for nine and a half years and, uh, so I'd, I'd rather not speculate on that. You mentioned Um, I, I can't really say today. I do know that there is uh, investigation on, and there have been interviews of the neighbors as far as history. Um, but at this point, we don't. We're we're not releasing any of that. Um, I'm, you know, to be honest with you, I've I've not seen those notes yet, so um, I'm not aware of any domestic history or any previous calls to the residents. So. Um, I, not being in the criminal investigation division, um, I, I, I'll be hesitant to comment on that. I know that from my previous history of working cases, uh, you may think you have something wrapped up and somebody else comes forward and says, hey, I need to talk to you. So, um, it's very likely that they have more people to, to talk to. Um, you know, certainly any witnesses that might, might see this on the news and contact us, um, with any kind of information. Um, so, yeah, I can't say that they don't have anybody else to interview. They may, they may still be conducting some of those as this process goes on. That that will be investigated. That uh, the weapon. Anytime uh, you have a, a case like this, a weapon will also be sent to the crime lab. Uh, for ballistic testing to be done, and then um, you know that um, evidence from autopsies will corroborate with evidence from ballistics. Thank you so much, sir. Yep. Anybody else? We good? All right. Thank you. Thank you.